Yes, good afternoon, YouTube. A Raspberry Pi plus Kodi equal Media Center Extender? That's a good question. Easy to ask, but harder to answer. I'll split the answer into a few videos to keep the length manageable. In these videos, I'll look at some of the differences between Windows Media Center or an extender and Kodi. I'll have my media PC running Windows Media Center, which you're looking at here, and a Raspberry Pi running Kodi. And I'll have both systems plugged into my AV receiver, and I'll switch inputs there. Both systems are also accessing my main TV and media servers over my home network. This way you can see if a Kodi system can be a media center extender replacement for you or not. In a previous video, I listed some key features of a Windows Media Center extender, so let's go through those comparing Media Center to Kodi. And we're back to Media Center here. Okay, number one feature was access to all your media libraries. So both Media Center and Kodi can display all the pictures music and uh, videos in my media library equally well. I think it's a toss-up on the the pictures and music library. There's similar information and viewing options for each application. In the movies folder, Kodi has more display options, but Media Center has the movie database searching, and I'll talk about that a little later. So the two big differences I see are in the TV shows and music video support under Kodi and the TV recordings under Media Center. So let's take a look at those. So we go up here. So I have both Media Center and Kodi viewing the same folder in my video library off my Synology file server. Now these are TV shows that are recorded outside of Windows Media Center. So Media Center treats any videos that are not recorded off live TV or that are movies as just a directory listing of video files. So here we have Little Rascals from the 30s and it's just a list of files. So let's go over to Cody here. So let's go look at, now there's videos, but they t take TV shows and handle them separately. They put them in their own separate tab. So here I have a listing of TV shows that are in my library. This is the same directory that I scrolled through in uh, Media Center. And here's Little Rascals. It's got, uh, you know, fan art there. Here's your media information. It's got a synopsis. You know, that's pretty amazing thinking these shows were recorded, uh, you know, 85 years ago. And they've got, you know, just like a brand new show, they've got, you know, thumbnails, fan art, synopsis, you know, full. And there's even uh, some of the shows have... Uh, uh, ratings from, uh, I think these come out of the TVDB.com. So I think Cody wins hands down on video library handling, at least for things like TV series and music videos. It has much better metadata scrapers and more ways to view and access your libraries. So you can go over here, just different ways of... Uh, Viewing them, you know, Media Center, you just get a list. You know, you can get thumbnails. I like the media info myself, but there's uh, many options there. Again, this is the same shared TV series folder in Media Center and Kodi. It's the exact same files, the same file names, directory names. We're still on Kodi here. This, again, is this is TV shows that are video recordings done outside of Media Center. TV recordings, which I'm on now, are T 
TV shows that were recorded off of live TV by Media Center. So the one thing Cody does that's kind of nice is they show that little check mark there. You can see in the right column that says I've watched, at least started to watch those shows. So it, it gives me a visual indication that I viewed that show. And what we can do is go in there and look at this program. You get a really brief, you know, one-line synopsis of the show. There's the show title. There's no additional details, no cast and crew, just the bare minimum. I'll just show you then what Media Center looks like here. So we'll look at that same show. So we'll come out of here, out of the video. So we'll go down here to Recorded TV and just show you then that same folder here. So you can see here I get the, uh, the same synopsis here. Some shows have, have an additional information. You can see down here, this one has like a category. It's a sitcom, it's a TV series. And if you go up above, you can uh, see some other showings. Sometimes they'll have uh, similar programs listed, shows that are similar to Gilligan's Island. Uh, there's cast and crew. If I wanted to search for an actor, I could look at Bob Denver. And here's all the movies Bob Denver was in. I could look for upcoming TV shows that uh, he was in. And, and if I wanted to uh, record something like Dusty's Trail that I had uh, actually never heard about until I did a search just like this, that's how I got this recording. So here's Dusty's Trail, right there. So yeah, Bob Denver in Dusty's Trail. So Yeah, I think in Media Center you have a richer synopsis. So this will wrap up the look at this first feature. I think Windows Media Center wins for TV recordings. Cody wins for things like TV shows and music videos, which they can handle uh, separately. And then the rest is pretty much a toss-up. So depending on how you weight uh, those two features, you have a big library of TV show series that you've uh, got off of DVDs or other sources, then Cody does that much better than Media Center. So in the next episode, I'll look at how both Media Center, Extender, and Cody handle live TV content. So stay tuned for that video. Check out some of my other cable cutting and Cody videos in the playlist link here. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for updates. And as always, thanks for watching.